Hello everybody and welcome back for more. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we defeated Volvagia and awakened Darunia as a sage, and so uh, we have cleared the Fire Temple. In this episode, uh, we are going to, uh, well, you could probably say uh, go on our way over to the uh, next destination, but I do want to, you know, get this, uh, the rest of the, you know, Quad City out of the way. Well, I mean... Not so much. Well, I mean, at least the rest of uh, Death Mountain, though. Um, I, I do want to go back over to Goron City and just uh, kind of, like, you know, check with the Gorons and see if they're back. And uh, what does Navi want this time? An Arctic wind is blowing from Zora's River. Do you feel it? Oh, yeah, of course. So we, uh, I see you guys might have already guessed because, you know, it's uh, the exact same as we did in the Child's Highway. You can already guess right, right about now where we need to go next. That's right. It involves Zora's River. That's, of course, where we had to go, because, like, it just, it still falls the same way as, uh, as we did as, uh, Child Link, where, um, where, you know, um, we just started the Kukiri Forest, and then over to Death Mountain, and then, and then, uh, Zora's Domain, so, of course, you know, same, same with Adult Link, well, of course, it's obvious that we go over to, um, Zora's Domain next. Anyway, so there's another, uh, Great Fairies found within, uh, the Death Mountain Crater, so, uh, we'll get to see, uh, what kind of, uh, new ability that we're gonna be, uh, Given, that's going to be given to us, because we can go in there with a Megaton, Megaton Hammer. Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Wisdom. I'm going to enhance your magic power. Receive it now. Alright, and so uh, we get an enhancer and upgrade for our magic power. And uh, what does that do, you may ask? Well, you can already guess right about now exactly what that's going to do. Because uh, our magic meter is uh, very short, and uh, we're going to want an ex extension to that, I would say. I don't know why Link was just uh, going like, what the, what the hell is going on? I <laughs> like it when he was doing that. Our magic meter has been enhanced. Your magic power has been enhanced. Now you have twice as much magic power. Alright, so basically with that is that um, our magic meter is a little longer. Which uh, you'll probably uh, see once we uh, get back into gameplay in just a minute here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can see right here that we have our, um, our magic meter has uh, gone much longer. So, so we can be able to uh, use um, us as a, uh, you know, Use our magic as much as we want to, just as long as you know, we don't waste it. And it's actually a good thing that we do that right away, though, because um, later later down the road, we are going to be using our magic meter quite a lot of times, because there's going to be some items that does that will probably um, eat up the uh, magic meter, especially that one particular item that we're going to be using a lot in one uh, particular dungeon we'll be getting to later. But yeah, it's definitely best recommended to um, to uh, extend your magic meter right about now. Because, you know, like I said, we'll be uh, we'll be using that a lot later down the road. All right, so uh, so we're back in uh, Goron City. Uh, we see that all the all the Gorons are back because we've uh, freed them all. And uh, I do want to I actually do want to go and talk to that uh, that other Goron that um well or basically a uh, Durnia's son. Well, you know, Link. That's that's what he's called. You know, his, his name is Link because um because you know we uh, share the same names now. So uh, he has he has different dialogue from all the other uh, Gorons. So let's go and. Uh, Talk to him and uh, let him know that, you know, uh, we did it. We, uh, we already uh, beat the dragon. Brother Link, everybody has come back. Dad and you destroyed the dragon together, didn't you? When I grow up, I want to be a strong man like you, Link. Oh, thanks. I got a, got a nice little admirer right here. I actually come to think of it, I'm just using the same kind of voice as all the other Gorons. Probably, it, it, since he's uh, definitely one of the younger uh, Gorons, then um, I probably could have used the, uh, I don't know. Maybe try to make a voice impersonation of, um, Yonobo, maybe? With, uh, with that kind of voice? I don't know. Anyway, so, uh, I do believe that's, uh, all we can do around here in, uh, Goron City. You know, there was actually that one area that I have been meaning to go back to, but I, uh, completely forgot. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm not, not, not that I uh, ever think it was uh, really important not to actually show it off, though, but, you know, it's, it's just, I forgot. But I'm actually going to show that off once we do that. This one, a particular, uh, certain side quest that um, that we'll be uh, we'll be getting into much later. All right, so uh, there's a couple things that we need to get over in uh, the uh, Death Mountain Trail, and we can see here that the uh, the dark clouds are no longer there. It's uh, all just uh, clear skies uh, because the uh, fire ring above uh, Death Mountain is uh, it's all gone. It's uh, back to normal. So yeah, it's, uh, we got that back. And yeah, as you can tell, uh, yeah, we're just uh, finishing things up here just by uh, destroying those uh, gold satulas. Uh Now that we have the uh, Megaton Hammer, we see those uh, red uh, rocks or the uh, the boulders that are that we see there, and we can't even use bombs against them. So, um, so with the Megaton Hammer, you can just uh, smash that, um, or smash those red rocks, and um, and you'll be able to see uh, some hidden goodies there, just like the uh, gold satulas. And you have to make sure it's nighttime too, because um, since I uh, smashed that uh, one uh, boulder. 
That was uh, that was there, and there was nothing. There, there was nothing at all. So I had to switch over to nighttime because that's how they're exclusive to. But yeah, only those uh, red rocks. Uh, you can only uh, destroy those with a megaton hammer. So um, so we might as well just uh, get those out of the way uh, since we have that now. And also, as we go along here, remember how uh, when we uh, came over there last time as a child link, the uh, uh, Death Mountain was erupting, and so there's uh, a whole bunch of uh, meteors. Well, um, it's uh, now that that doesn't do that anymore, because I think um, I think if you go on uh, this uh, pathway while the um, while the uh, ring above Death Mountain's all uh, fiery red, then um, the uh, that's when the uh, that, that's when it'll erupt and it'll just uh, rain out meteors on you. I I think that's what happens, but I'm not entirely sure. I've honestly never even been over there while during that uh, kind of a uh, phenomenon. <laughs> Because then afterwards, then the, uh, that it doesn't even rain fire on you anymore, which, honestly, I would say is, I'm, I'm actually very thankful for. Especially considering that we're going to be, uh, going up there, uh, about, like, uh, I don't know, probably, um, probably, like, a few times, uh, for this, uh, one side quest that's, you know, going to be, uh, you know, later down the road, but. Anyway, so, um, so I guess we might as well go ahead and, uh, head over to our next, uh, destination, because, uh, there's not really much, uh, cleanup to do, per se. I mean, just aside from those uh, couple of gold tulips from the uh, from the Megaton Hammer, but yeah, that's that's about it, really. There's really not that much of a cleanup after the uh, at the Fire Temple. So we'll just uh, go ahead and uh, head on over to uh, Zora's Domain. So Navi was saying that there was an, uh, an Arctic wind that's uh, blowing out from there, and uh, that kind of sounds something like uh, I don't know, something like icy there. So. And yeah, I decided to switch back over to the uh, Kukiri Tunic because, uh, you know, we don't really need to continue wearing the Goron Tunic. Although, I know some some people actually really do like uh, switching over uh, tunics uh, to, to, to a different color because they, um, cause that's their preferred color, like their um, favorite kind of color to do. And, you know, it's absolutely fine. I mean, you know, you know, you do you. It's all, it's all sound good. But me, personally, I always like to go back to the um, Kukiri Tunic for Lean because, you know, I always um, I always find it fitting for him because, you know, I've, I've, I've always been so much used to uh, seeing Lean, Lean in green. To the point that um, that I'm always uh, switching back over to Kukiri Tunic because it really, it really does does uh, fit like the best with uh, him wearing green because you know that's uh, that's it's very iconic because he's always associated with the color green except in uh, Breath of the Wild and uh, Tears of the Kingdom or at least the uh, I, I would say the the Wild uh, duology or, or Wild Trilogy if you're counting um, if you're counting um, Age of Calamity like, you know uh, Hyrule Warriors. But, you know, in those cases, that uh, his uh, main default outfit is the, um, the blue tunic, because that, uh, that was a champion outfit. So, uh, because of that, the, um, the main color scheme was all uh, blue. And so, you know, when I, uh, honestly, though, when I first uh, saw, like, when I first saw the trailer for Breath of the Wild, I, uh, I saw him uh, wearing blue, and I gotta say, you know, I know it sounds like very much of a bias, and I'm gonna be sounding very petty at the moment, but... You know, it was a little bit of a turn off for me though, because I was like, no, that 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 does not go good in blue. He, he does not go well in blue. Why is why is he wearing blue? That's uh, ruined forever. But um, okay, you know, I I I, I wasn't okay. I wasn't really saying something like that. Though. I didn't. I didn't really say that. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I was a bit skeptical about it at first. I mean, if I'm being serious here, but you know, I guess uh, maybe I've kind of grown on it anyway. But. And, you know, then again, though, um, you do get different armor, different kind of sets of uh, clothes or, you know, just uh, armor and whatnot. And so uh, they come in, like, different colors and all that. And, I mean, you can actually still wear those uh, green tunics um, if you ever wanted to because, you know, that those are an option. So either way, I always just uh, pick those uh, tunics anyway. And, yeah, I'm actually uh, coming back over here because I kind of fucked up at that one aspect where uh, you, you remember that there was this uh, heart piece that was over in that uh, one platform was over there. Uh, something that, you know... That you could also uh, get to as a uh, as childling, but there was no way I could have reached that whatsoever. Like you'd actually just use one of the uh, Kugos, but I could never even make it at all because of it. So I had to wait until uh, I got to the uh, adult or the adult half of this game and uh, use the uh, magic bean to uh, get over to the heart piece, just to uh, just make it easier. And that's basically how you do that. But you know, if you I mean, you know, if you were able to actually get over there as childling with those Kugos, then I mean, you know, I could just. Uh, see how exactly to do that, but I can never make it anyway, so I just wait until then. Anyway, so, uh, if we get over closer to Zor's, or get over further into Zor's River, you can see that there's, a uh, it's snowing a little bit. There's, uh, some, uh, piece of, uh, snow. I, I mean, what, what could be going on? Why is it, uh, why is it snowing all of a sudden? It's not, it's not even winter. I mean, I don't even know, well, I mean, I, I don't even know what season this, um, 
this game is supposed to be. I mean, maybe spring, summer, maybe? Obviously, uh, obviously either one of those two, because, like, it can be either autumn or winter, you know, obviously enough. I mean, of course, uh, that, 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 that whole thing actually became a mechanic in, um, more whole seasons. Because, you know, it has a whole, uh, seasons changing kind of a mechanic that you have. So, um, anyway, so let's, uh, go back over to, um, you know, see what's going on. So, uh, right now we have, uh, let's see, um, so, so far we have, uh, three stage medallions, and yeah, I'm actually, uh, counting, um, the, uh, light medallion, even though, um, even though there really isn't a light dungeon, because Light Temple is, uh, already in the Sacred Realm, so there's really not a dungeon of a light or anything like that. I think there was going to be in the, uh, earlier, earlier in the beta, but, uh, but that got scrapped due to the time constraints, so, uh, they just gave the light medallion right from the get-go. Alright, so we're in Zora's Domain, and holy shit, what the hell happened to this place? It's, it's all frozen, it's all, uh, it's all icy. It's all, uh, ah, fuck it. I was frozen today! Ah, oh, yeah, see, look at that. I just, uh, I just necromanced an old joke that was, like, from way back, uh, way back in the day. Uh, and also from, um, uh, also, yeah, from, uh, from Doug Walker, which, of course, I probably shouldn't be, uh, using that kind of reference anymore, because, I mean, uh, that guy's, that guy's already lost my respect for the, since that, uh, one incident, but, anyway, so, yeah, Zora's Domain is, uh, frozen for some reason, and, oh, King Zora is, uh, frozen on a block of ice. Eh. Uh, I mean, if he's, uh, stopped there, then I mean, that's, uh, kind of fitting for him, though, because he, because he was slow as shit when he was trying to move a cypher, right? he was so slow, but at least it, I like how he's just, uh, stay in that, stay in that very same position, like, you know, even, even after seven years, and he, he did not even budge an inch at all. Uh, the, some, that really goes to show, he's, wow, he, that guy must really be lazy as shit. He doesn't even do jack shit either, because, like, you know, considering that, you know, he moved a cypher, us, and then, Seven years later, he say, he he stayed in the exact same spot without even budging an inch. Like, wow. I, d huh? Like, I don't know. That's that just that just screams laziness, honestly. Because like, you know, if he's just staying in that one spot even after seven years, ugh. And now he's just uh, and he lives like frozen in the, in the in that red ice right there. Well, I don't know. that's kind of strange how the ice is red. And there are also no Zors either, because apparently uh, the Zors are all trapped in this uh, sheet of ice. So, um, so yeah, we'll have to see what's the cause of all this. And here we are back in a uh, Zors fountain, and we see that, uh, and uh, Jabba Jabba's gone. I don't know where it could have happened to him. I mean, Jen Zari could have uh, probably just, uh, I mean, that's probably where he once was. Uh, there's that uh, big ice uh, chunk, so maybe he could be um, frozen there, I would say. But he's huge, though. I mean, it's probably just uh, too big to actually uh, be able to fit in the ice anyway, so... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's never really explained what happened to uh, Jabba Jabba at all. Because, like, you know, either um, either he relocated somewhere, or uh, maybe uh, maybe Ganondorf killed him. Something like that, or maybe he died of some other kind of causes. I don't know. I, I, it's either one of those things. The, the game never really explains or, or for what happened to uh, Jabba Jabba. But yeah, there's a bunch of um, ice platforms right here. There's uh, there's Arby's over there we can uh, get to, so there's that. And the screen shaking for some reason. Well, because of the uh, because of the ice, so huzzah for that. And of course, lots of ice physics. I uh, nobody ever really likes ice physics. Because I mean, if you probably remember the uh, the ice palace in Link to the Past, so uh, there's that everywhere. And so something tells me we're about to get to some kind of a dungeon that's uh, icy. Well, it's not really like one of the main dungeons that's uh, gonna be. Uh, but that other dungeons as well. I mean, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe I, my, my opinions might, might have changed in them for that, but, I mean, people say that the, the uh, next dungeon sucks, but not this kind of particular dungeon where we can get into And I was trying to uh, fire that um, Octorog that's supposed to be over there, but, you know, maybe because I, because uh, I, I, I'm actually about to end off the video, but I didn't want to do that while there's uh, Octoroks around there. So I want to kill those first, but, yeah, I've already got them all, so um, I should be fine here anyway. It's it's safe enough to go in and end off this video, so. Anyway, so with that said and done. Next time on Let's Play Ocarina of Time, we are going to uh, find out why uh, Zora's Domain is frozen, and uh, well, there's a cave over there that uh, we'll probably get to, and so we'll hopefully see the cause of all that. So, I'll see you guys then.